Few are more excited than our own Jamie Wax. Jamie is a Louisiana native. He says he's been going to Jazz Fest since he was a teenager. Over the years, he's attended with his friends, his family, and now his wife and his children. This morning, he's sharing his love letter to this very unique event. Everyone in every place missed their celebrations during the pandemic. But here in New Orleans, a city built on over 300 years of deep celebrations, some losses went equally deep and made life here in the Big Easy a little difficult. And this just in, Jazz Fest has announced it is canceling this year. I know the Lord will take care of me. I know, I know, big deal, it's a music festival. But Jazz Fest means so much more than that here. There are friends and family we only see at Jazz Fest. Yes, there have been huge headliners like Bruce Springsteen, Stevie Wonder, and The Who, but my favorite Jazz Fest memories have been hugging a long lost friend under the shade of the big oak, seeing a local church choir blow the roof off the gospel tent, watching a young Mardi Gras Indian proudly carrying on his family's tradition. Happy Jazz Fest 2022. And of course, like any Louisiana celebration, there's the food. Food most of us only get at Jazz Fest. Crawfish bread, crawfish monica, cochon de lait po A little fresh slaw on there. This is Miss Linda's yakamane. Comes from Chinese immigrants and African culture. It's an incredible combination of cultures for New Orleans. I could and did go on and on. When Jazz Fest was canceled for the first time since it started in 1970, and yes, that includes the year after Katrina, then rescheduled, then canceled again. It wasn't just devastating to those of us in the audience. But as New Orleans' own Tank from Tank and the Bangas told us, We're back. <laughs> That's all I can say. For me, the experience has been truly personal ever since my older cousin took me to my first Jazz Fest in the 80s. In fact, 13 years ago this week, I had my fourth date with the woman who would become my wife at Jazz Fest. It was the date when I realized I wasn't just into this woman, I was falling in love with her. As you can see on my face in this embarrassing photo from that day. Since then, we've created memories there with our older children. Now, we get to enjoy our pandemic baby's first fest. The festival's official title is the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. And heritage might be the most important part of it all. It honors the traditions and gifts given to us by immigrants and enslaved people, by cooks and craftsmen. It reminds us that when we share each other's music, food, and culture with open hearts, we're sharing love and respect for what makes us different and what makes us alike. Not even disease or division can stop that. In a complicated world, at a complicated time, that seems like something worth celebrating. You know, there is that song called The Look of Love. Oh, he had that look at it. <laughs>